Kristen and we're back. Um, we're back with a new video and what we're going to talk about is our faves and our bombs of 2018. Like and this includes beauty products of all kinds. So we're just going to get at it. Um, first things first is this is a cold sore. If you do have a cold sore, if you got sick, don't put any products on. I've done some research. If you put any products on, it's just going to egg it on, which I did not have any products on, thank God. This is the first time I'm wearing uh, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. That and it's going to contaminate whatever product exactly. you're using. Exactly. So make sure, like, if you're feeling under the weather and you're success susceptible, susceptible? Susceptible. To, yeah, thank you. To cold sores and issues like that, make sure you just stay away from your beauty for at least two weeks, I say until everything's calmed down and that way you don't have to worry about contamination with your products. So we're gonna get started and let's see. Jump okay, right so let's talk about how each product is different for everybody. So I don't want, this is not a video to dog companies or anything like this. I'm gonna push this over. There we go. The dog companies, this is just, stuff that did or didn't work on us. I have dry skin, she's got combo to dry skin. So every, um, everybody's different. Everybody has different skin tones, different skin um, complexions. I cannot talk today. Textures. Yes. Um, Massive no, pores dry, like No, dry, oily, dry, oily, combo, normal skin. Everybody has different skin. So what may work for us could work differently for you. So let's just keep that in mind as we go through everything. Yeah. So we're gonna start out with our faves. I bought this, yes, we bought this yesterday. We needed bar soap. And I absolutely love, it smells like roses right now. It's a beauty bar. To me, uh, okay, so let me back up. Dove, I love their bars. Mm -hmm. That scent reminds me of an old lady. Okay, then call me an old lady, because I love it. I like the, like the fresh powder scent. That one just smells like, Old lady, I'm right. I, not to knock little old ladies because they're sweet, but it just. And you, I don't think you even like roses, like they're scent rosal. Okay. okay ro rosal. 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 <laughs> then rosals. <laughs> but it's it's a pink bar I and. Just like it because it's pink. It's no, it's moisturizing. Like I took a bath today with it. I'm just like. I love washing my face with the Dove bar soap though because it does. Get all my oily. Gets everything. No, 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 no. I got plenty of moisturizer. I'm, it gets rid of all the oils. Just saying. So we love that one. We're gonna start with our loves and then the bombs. Another one we picked up this year was the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. We love this one. Um, I love this one. I don't know if you I was do. gonna say, not I. You don't like it. Okay, I love it. You just spray it everywhere right before you put your makeup on. It's not a toner or anything. It's just like a, kind of like a natural oils type, fresh smack in the face type stuff. I love it. It just didn't, I don't know, for, I guess because my, you have drier skin than I do, but when I... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Think of like a primer moisturizer. I can't do a primer because anytime I've used any kind of like um, primer, mm -hmm. like like a set primer. It doesn't work for you. It gets cakey and then I have all these like. It, like it cracks her skin oh, it's weird. almost. It's really weird. So, so the, the only next thing product that, and we, we got this in a tester. We did. We got this in a small little tester at Sephora. Sephora. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sephora. And anytime you make a purchase and they don't include samples, no, it was Ulta. ask. It was Ulta. I'm sorry. Ulta, Ulta or Sephora. Ulta. Ask for samples because you may never know. You may fall in love with a product like I did. And this just happened. I am obsessed with this stuff. Little teardrop here, little here, here, and forehead. I'm. We got this for you, what, three or four months ago? Yeah. Around my birthday. And you see how much I've used. Look how much she's used. This, this is going to take like me two right years there. to use it. Yeah. Granted, it that expired. That little sample yeah. you, you had for a year and a half, or, or eight months, a actually. A while, no, it yeah. Eight months. It's a while. You were out by September, and that's when I got you some of my birthday money. So, uh, 
Another thing we love, now we love Urban Decay All Nighter, but I had never seen the pollution protection until a few months ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this, I wanna try it out. I love it. It's um, Environmental Defense Makeup Setting Spray and it's um, up to 16 hour, hour, how hour wear lightweight temperature control technology. It is awesome. I don't know, I'm still pretty partial to mine. Where is it? Did you get prepared? Um, you're the one that got all this set up. And I asked you if you want anything before. Why did you throw me under the bus? Is it the oil mat? No. It's oh, it's just the, the regular? The regular setting spray. And when I realized today, okay, so I worked all day and it's been pouring rain here in Houston all day. There's times where I walk outside and I realized I hadn't set my face. And I was like, oh my God, my face is gonna melt. It was, I was terrified I was gonna have streaks. Why don't you put this in your purse? That way you're prepared. Because it's almost empty. Well, we could put some That's not the same thing. thing. Well, this is pollution, so. Just saying. But anyway, yes, the Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray, mm -hmm. the bomb. It is, it is the bomb. And it's worth every penny. It sets your makeup like no other. Except for this one. This is MAC Prep and Bond, and we've never uh, officially used this before. And I know it's been out before 2018, but it's the Fix Plus um, setting spray. And I use this for the sparkly stuff that's on my lid. Like right now, I have some shimmer that I use to um, pack in with it, and I love it. It holds it long, like a long time. Yeah, I, 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 I do with my hands. Anyways, I love this. She loves this. Don't you use this? I rarely use it. But you, when you do, do you like it? When you do my eye looks, she uses it religiously, and it always looks beautiful. So we're going to go oh, you to the nails. Oh. We noticed this. We, no. we said this last year. I said this last year that I love this Barriel. Um, it's like a cream for your nails. And they make your nails grow long and just real strong. I haven't used this in a while, but I got this tip last year, or actually 2017, from Khloe Kardashian's um, blog or whatever. And um, I told my mom, and she bought like three jars. Because I was like, Mom, try this. And she was down for Christmas or something. And she tried it, and she called me two weeks like, Heather, I ordered three jars of this. One's going your way. <laughs> It's like, I already have one, but okay. But I love it. It's like 7 to $10 on Amazon. I can't, don't quote me, but I think it's that's It's reasonably it. priced. Yes, it is. So, and then another one we're going to go with is we, yeah, I'm like, we uh, love this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and we... Obsessed. We talked about it uh, last, the 2017, mm -hmm. right? Or 2018. No, 2017 before right. 2018. Yeah. yeah. So we talked about it then, but... We got the shower gel. It's all gone already. Oh, it's all shit. gone. It's $25 oh, for the shower gel. We had it in... Maybe a month? <laughs> end of January. And we had it for... No, because it lasted us until we got here in March. So... A couple months. It was April. It was about four to five months that the shower gel. I don't have the bottle, but that... Anything from this company is amazing. It sold to Gennaro... Genero, right. Genero, and this is Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and the shower gel is divine. We've had this since February, I think, and look at that. And see, and with lotions, when they sit over time, they kind of fall apart, and they get that, like, moisture in the base of it to where it becomes watered down. This stuff, no. No. And you see how it's creamy? It's Still intact, no oils. It's not or, dripping down our arm. It just smells like you just stepped into the Caribbean or something, and you're just like, oh my gosh. It Whoa. so good. Extra, extra. She attacks me every time I wear that, so just saying. Cricket, cricket. Okay. And then um, we loved, we found out about Rimmel Scandalized Thick and Thin Eyeliner. And then there's another one. There's another... You Actually, did you I have found it, it or yeah. did you try it? No, I, I tried it and then you like fell oh, in I'm love obsessed. and took mine and I, I was like, I don't care. I won't touch any other. No, no, no. Yeah. 
No, no. This is Rimmel, um, scandalized 24 hours. And it just, it's perfect for beginners because it's not too wet, but it's not too dry. It has just enough just to messy. glide yeah. onto your eye. It's perfect. Perfect. I also found out about the MAC Priming Prep. I use this on my eyes every time. I do it as a, a prime. Do you use this too? Sometimes. If it's kind of like a... Mm, yes and no. Okay. Well, <laughs> so I have a tip. If yours dries out, like I don't wear makeup a lot unless I'm on this channel or we go somewhere special. So it, it dried out first couple of times and I put some... For Solly Rose Oil on it. Ugh. For Solly Rose Oil on it. Just a little bit. Don't go crazy. And just kind of blend it in and it didn't dry out as much. Um, but it's still like intact. When you put it on your lid, make sure you put it all over the lid and then let it dry for a few minutes before you put your eyeshadow on. It just it makes the world of a difference. It keeps your eyeshadow intact, doesn't move. Whatsoever. Doesn't transfer it down. No. So, oh, here's another one. Uh, Luminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner. Now, we have the mascara that we talked about last year. We need to get rid of that mascara that's in there. Which one? The Vol Voluminous Superstar. Because we've had that one? over nine or ten months. Oh, I'm almost done with it, believe me. So, but this is the eyeliner, the Voluminous, Voluminous Superstar Eyeliner. And um, I love it. I am addicted to it. I I gave her this one, the Scandalize, and just took over this one. I had that for like six months at least. No, more. We had it when we were still at Allen's. Um, I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I've had that for quite some time, and it's almost done with. It's wonderful. Now, if you have thin brows like I do, I don't have like a lot of brow. I have to really fill them in. If you have thin brows like I do, you're gonna want to get the brow whiz. But if you don't have, uh, and my thing broke, if you don't have thin and you have full, you probably want to get the slanted. Um, I don't like me. I just <laughs> I didn't do it. I just lost my thought. Um, eyebrow brush, the slanted eyebrow brush. I was like, what? Okay. Oh, this is your one of your favorites that we saw. You just hijacked it, so I was like, No, okay. I did, because I knew it was your favorite. Are you going to talk about it? Well, I was waiting for you to let me talk. I mean... Oh, that's what I'm saying. Um, this is the Makeup Forever... I forget what shade this is. Number 205. And... I like it because when you put it on, it's it's a liquid matte, but once you put it on, it doesn't dry down and leave your lips like really dry and like, I don't want to say crusty because it's not, it doesn't do that. Um, and some of the liquid, like more of the liquid lip that dries down matte, some do. Like I love Chloe's, um, or from Kylie's line, but yeah. it's Chloe's. Um, I love the color of it, but I just don't like that it's so dry. It leaves your lips so, so dry. I love this one. This one's in the color Kristen. And I saw that and I was just like, oh, such a pretty color. So we got that. Actually, I think you bought it for me. Yeah, you did. You had Let me go get the, the other the one. Chloe. Yeah. She got the Chloe um, Kardashian one yeah, with Kylie sure. Jenner's lip, lip kit. It's gold. In the color. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's all I can do. I can't do. Okay. No, I can't even say, like, bolito. I say bolito. I'm so sorry if I'm offending anybody. That's just, I just can't, I can't roll my R's. It's still fine. Ouch, ouch. Sorry, let me just smack you with my chair. Actually, I kind of did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. This is Coco by Chloe, or Kylie Cosmetics. If it'll focus, okay. It's really pretty, like pinkish red, and it smells like cupcakes. Yeah. And vanilla, like vanilla cupcakes. That's what it smells it like. It looks ready pink, but it's more of a pinky fuchsia almost. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It so. just depends on what the light hits. Um, I got this pretty vulgar um, in a, I think it was 
Fat Fit Fun box and or no 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 it's Boxy Charm and I love this blush because it's not I don't know if you can there you go me well I'm trying to let me put it on my skin I'll take one of these that's so pretty it's a really pretty muted 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 peach color and I just absolutely love this. Before this dries down and stains my skin, because this I have the the Kylie slips mm -hmm. are really tough to get off. Yeah, they are. They so stay put. use oil if if you're using Kylie. Um, I have two different types of highlighters that I love. This one's from Milani, and it's got this. Um, if I can read it, pearl, golden, and rose gold. Pearl, no, actually pearl, golden, rose gold. And um, it's called Stellar Lights. And it's just, it's really pretty on the skin. I'm going to try and... Excuse me. I don't know if you can mix them. them. It's right here. <laughs> but it was only like $11.99, $14.99. Don't quote me on that, but I love it. And then I also love, and this is broken. I'm about to cry because it's broken. Didn't you fix it? This is, I kind of fixed it. This is the Becca highlighter in the color uh, Light Light Chaser highlighter in, like, I think it's Opal. Flashes Jade in the Becca highlight. This is the smaller version. I think it was like $17. And of course, I got it everywhere. Um, I stick with my tried and true butter bronzer. I love this stuff. It still smells like the Caribbean's Jamaican. You, you see a theme here. It smells so good. I love it. I don't use bronzer a lot and I don't contour a lot, but when I do, I use that stuff. Um, one of the things that Huda Beauty came out was the Mauve Obsessions, and I'm just obsessed with this little palette. If I'm traveling, I can take this with me, and it has really pretty colors for a warm look, which I'm all about that warm look, right? 90% of the time. And another lipstick that I liked was the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the color Catnip. And it's just a really pretty cool tone, um, pinkish purple. And I'm really not a cool tone girl, but I saw that and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it out because I've never tried an Anastasia lip product before. So we did that. Did you try it out? I'm sick. Let's try it. Yeah. Try it before you buy it. Um, this one is, this is for hair. It's London Fashion Week official hair care product, label.m Diamond Dust Leave-In Cream. I love this. If your hair is wet or dry and you just kind of want to brush it out, spray this stuff on. It's at uh, Amazon. Uh, I got a little sample size and I was just like, oh, I'm so, I so, like, this channel is all about trying out stuff. There ain't no shame in the sample game, so we do samples a lot. Uh, this is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse. Um, I love this. This is like mint on your face. Use this when you wake up. Because if you use it at night, you're gonna you're not gonna fall asleep. Um, it, it helps you like it helps your skin get energized and ready for the day. And I believe it has caffeine in it. It may, but I'm not sure. This is way too small to look. Um, let's see. Oh, another one of our bomb palettes that we loved was the Morphe. Plus Jaclyn Hill, um, the Vault Collection. Um, I'm not a big fan of Dark Magic, but Armed and Gorgeous, Ring the Alarm, and Bling Boss are my favorites. Which ones are your favorites, at least? Oh, shall you even ask? I'm just kidding. I know that's your favorite, like the Bling your, Boss. Bling Boss is your favorite. I like all Can of them except for the, the pan here. Yes. I'm about to read your name. That purple is your color. Like it's oh. so we're gonna go through the products that we just did not like. We just not have So it. little review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Do you like it? It's soft, but it's a little tacky. Well it's, I think it's meant to be tacky, but it does dry down. And it's not super dry to where it's like it's a pretty color. Yeah, it is. I like it, and that would really, it goes with your look. It's really, I put it I on. Know my look, I was just like, oh. Look. 
It's really pretty. You did a good job today. See, she's she's getting there. When we first started this channel, she was just like, I'm not into makeup, no, I'm not. And this one suckered me into it with yes. at a gun to my forehead. This one, is that Tom Ford? Yes. Tom no, Ford. No, 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 no. No, Mark, ja Mark, Mark Jacobs. Jacobs. I'm sorry. This is Mark Jacobs' um, palette. I saw it when she gave it to me as a present for last Christmas. No, 2017 Christmas, I think. Or I think it was right after Christmas during 2018. I was so pumped for this palette because I was like, she had been eyeballing it for ever and then Sephora had it on sale and so I snagged it and we, and we know we, why it's on sale. We, yeah, now we know. <laughs> we got it and started swatching. I was like, oh, these are beautiful colors. And then we went to apply them and they just did not blend well. They were real splotchy. Yeah, they were. They, Very little pigmentation. Like this one, the blue one, it's it's a pretty swatch, but once you try to blend it with another color, mm -mm. It, you're out of luck. Game over. This one is Naked 3. She bought this for herself. This was my first palette that I bought. It was her first palette that she bought that was like more middle, middle of the man of makeup. Mm -hmm. There's what I call it low or affordable middle man and then bougie as AF. AF. So she got this and it's um, Naked 3 Urban Decay. I'm sure that they're pulling these palettes as we speak. Um, we love Urban Decay. They have really good palettes. But they just, they didn't blend very well for you. Mm -hmm. um, and they were kind of... Um, they were really tough to blend. Creasy a little bit on yeah, your eyelid. Right up you could, here. It really showed her, uh, her texture and fine lines on her eyes. So that's a, a no-go. Sorry, you're okay. We love you, but you just don't like this one. Uh, we no. got this one, Makeup Revolution. We were doing, um, I think it was a mermaid look, or no, skulls or something. And I don't know if I can get this up. And it was on sale, and then again, I was like, I've heard of Makeup Re Revolution before. And I was like, okay, this is this is going to be a really good palette because they talk about their concealers all the time. They talk about um, the Emily Noel palette. Oh my, they there's don't no even, pigmentation. Yeah. She's she's doing it on her arm. Kind of switch your arm just a little oh bit. Go. I mean, that's Is like that as best as you can get like from this right here? Hold on. Let me see that. I want to do another color. This... I'm willing to give this to our daughter. Yeah. Because this, I mean, look at it. And I'm like pressing down. You know what? We probably have to scrape off the top half. Sometimes um, companies of affordable makeup, they have this hard, um, hard like thing on their makeup, like the base products from e.l.f. Where you have man? to s scrape it. It's, That's, this it's is going there. straight in trash. Or just give it to Kaylee. She'll love it. She'll have it everywhere. If okay. we're going to give her makeup, it's going to be quality. It's not going to be crap. Sorry. And then this is the makeup eraser. It was $20 at Sephora. And I was like, okay, great. You love we that can... thing. No, not this. No, not that one? No. Edit. I tried it. I tried it several times. And I have to literally scrub the whole face. Like... 10 times to get this off. Which brings us to these. Yes, beauties. which we love. Which we kind of did that backwards, but that's okay. It's okay because that, these are so moisturizing and they're so soft and they're not, it's not, that feels like sandpaper on your face. Mm. Even though it's like soft, yeah. it, it does feel like, I guess it's because the texture. Well, that when you wet it, it's just, it doesn't, it's not. Mm. I need my oils or something like this to, these we got from, um, I was going to say Walmart, but that's not true. TJ Maxx? Marshalls oh. and TJ Maxx. They have them, and I, we love the smell. They don't dry out. They're perfect on your skin. We only need one, one wake, makeup wipe to do all this. Mm -hmm. One. And we just love it. Oh, thanks, Let babe. Clean you up a little. Aw, you made so sweet. So those are our loves and our bombs. But... I'm going to put some, um, like a, a little video on the screen right now showing you uh, um, 
the group that I asked the question of what their favorites and their bombs were um, right here on the screen so that you can see other people's opinions of what worked for them, what, what didn't work for them. So that's going on right now as we're talking. So we hope you liked our um, first video of 2019. Let us know down in the comments what you want us to do next. Do you want us to do a challenge? Do you want to do more lifestyle? Do you want to do uh, makeup? I've got some ideas. Also, I have to run by you. Yes. And also, I am thinking of the Morphe foundation that came out, or that's going to come out like they just announced January it 17th. Yes. So I'm, I'm interested in those. I'm also interested in, um, there was another one that was coming out that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try. I know these have been out for a while, but if y'all have tried the Jeffree Star lips, the liquid lips, sound below, sound off below because we haven't I, tried them yet. I am itching to get my fingers on them because I have heard great things from friends, strangers, and just reviews and blood sugar might be in this one's future. Just saying. I love blood sugar. I just can't wait to, to play with it. And <laughs> yes, I'm like, ooh. So. so we hope you had fun with us today. And thanks for stopping by and watching our video. Make sure you like our video, subscribe, subscribe and then share it to your friends and family. <laughs> Whichever corner you want to point to. Share. Um, we want to get more subscribers so that we can be on PR list. We're contacting different makeup companies mm -hmm. um, from the last couple months trying to get on uh, their PR list or if they can send us samples. So that way we can review it for you and y'all can check it out if you want we to. We can get better at this little shindig we got going. <laughs> Are you going to start a rap now? No. Rap battle. Why go rapping? Nope. So... We love you, and we will see you on the next video. Bye. No, 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 no. <laughs> so funny. Hello? Hey, it's for you. <laughs> Morphe wants uh, to, to sponsor it. No. Facebook, really? I said Morphe. I